Hello and welcome to Inside Japan um, Roundtable Discussion. Today we're actually going to talk about uh, winter holidays in Japan. So before we get started, just going to introduce everyone. My name is Marco. I'm one of the co-founders of Inside Japan. To my right, you might recognize him from a lot of the other roundtables. This is Stuart. And then all the way is the other co-founder of Inside Japan, Derek. He does a lot of the work, actually most of the work. So. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so when thinking about the holidays and everything, um, what are the ho holidays like back home? So, yeah. uh, Cold. Oh. Wet. <laughs> uh, I'm from northeast, uh, sorry, northwest England. Okay. Um, so it's pretty cold, it's pretty wet. Um, but it's, it's a time where all your friends are not at work, so you can go out and have fun with your friends, um, families together, TV <laughs> is just smashed with Christmas related content, uh, it's, it's good, it's a nice time, everybody's relaxed, everybody's having fun, yeah, it's good, good food, too much of, and uh, yeah, too much alcohol, I guess too. <laughs> Got a preferred drink or anything? Uh, well, in the UK I drink uh, real ale. I can't really get real ale in Japan, um, but yeah, my preferred drink is real ale or beer or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, feel free to jump in if you have any questions about, because we're, we're both from the same country, but yes. we're, he's from a different one, so do you have any questions or anything? No, I mean, you know, Christmas is a big deal, uh, so Christmas Eve is Christmas Eve service, you know, kind of quiet candlelit thing. Uh, Christmas morning's a big family thing, presents, after that it's kind of just some, some relaxed time and then New Year's Eve is maybe a fun night out and New Year's Eve day is just a hangover day or <laughs> lay around and watch a parade kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess the format of Christmas Eve, usually Christmas Eve is the time we go out to drink. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So we go out for drinks, like meet up with friends on Christmas Eve, uh -huh. uh, have a have a skinful, and then go home. And the hangover day is actually Christmas morning. Okay, <laughs> that's sort of where I'm from. Uh, and then uh, you sort of bumble your way through uh, a big breakfast. So you have like a big breakfast, like sausage and bacon and eggs and stuff, and then a huge Christmas dinner and drink okay. more. And then, like, fall asleep watching TV at, like, 5 p.m. or something like that. And New Year's Eve, we don't really go out. We stay at mm -hmm. home a lot. You don't um, have big parties or no, anything? No, not really. You just stay at home, watch TV, and see the new year in with the family. Um, mm. And then, yeah, pretty fresh for New Year's Day. Go out for lunch on New Year's Day quite often. Uh, have some uh, roast lamb or something like that. On, uh, or roast beef? Roast beef. On New Year's Day. And some more drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of drinking. <laughs> so it's kind of like the opposite of us, right? Yeah, like as far as it's not opposite, but like a swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, it, just Eve. just in my case, right? <laughs> okay. Not necessarily for the rest of the UK, right? But um, I mean, a lot of my mates go to Edinburgh uh, for hog money, uh, which is like the Scottish New Year celebrations. Okay. There's like live music and stuff on Edinburgh Castle, so that's pretty cool. A lot of my friends do that every year, so. I don't. <laughs> um, when you're back home, what do you, what do you, what did you do before coming to Japan? What was your like typical Christmas? Um, you know, as as I kind of mentioned, Christmas morning, you get up early, you you open presents, and that's kind of the, the the highlight. And then maybe there's like a, a Christmas ham, and you know, I grew up in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, kind of kind of cold places, and most everything is closed on Christmas Day. The only thing that'd be open would be like a movie theater. So sometimes we'd go see a holiday film like The Lord of the Rings or something that comes out. So morning is presents, maybe a a nice lunch, and then relax, and then see a movie. It's kind of what my family would do. So, Lord of the Rings is a Christmas movie? I mean, 
<laughs> and even the Christmas I, movie. It's like I, a wonderful honestly, life I, or anything. When I think of Christmas movies that it's are not... not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I either think of like either Star Wars or, you know, Die so, Hard. <laughs> like, Die Hard. Yeah. Die Hard is the ultimate There are movies yeah. that are released in the Christmas season. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, like imagining like the Balrog with like a big <laughs> Santa hat on and a fake beard. So, we, do, we, we do not have a tradition of watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Like all the movies, it's like right. Christmas Day. But you know, yeah, Star Wars. I saw that last time I was in the yeah. states, and there's a Star Trek. There's there's something. Is that Raiders of the Lost Ark? Is like a, a movie that gets played on Christmas back home. Like it is in the UK, I think. Like they always get like Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, a lot of people argue that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It is. It, it is. It's yeah, definitely a Christmas movie. But there, there is some 100%. argument about that. How, there is no uh, argument about that. It, it happens during Christmas. This, yeah, it. everything. Although, yeah. Doesn't he say Happy Holidays at, at some point in it as well? Like, I don't know. Is Die Hard 2 a Christmas movie as well? It, it also yeah. takes place at Christmas, but it's at an airport, and there are flu- fewer ho-ho-hos. Yeah. But... Oh yeah, oh, oh, I have a machine gun now. Yeah, that's that's one from Yeah. Diamond. So okay. I feel like we're getting off track a little bit. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. There's a discussion, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what do you? Th- okay. Is was there? Okay. Moving back to what we were talking about before. So in Japan, during the winter holidays, is there anything that you that was surprisingly different? Something that surprised you? Something that just threw you off your game? Whatever? So. It's my understanding that Christmas Eve in Japan is like Valentine's Eve in America. It's a date night. Like, if you're going to have a date, Christmas Eve is the night you don't want to be stuck alone. That, that's my understanding. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know that either. So, I thought it was like the Christmas, like the Christmas KFC thing. Like Christmas well, Eve. so, yes, KFC okay. is big at Christmas time, and people buy roll cakes from convenience stores but I believe if you're if there's one night you want to have a date I believe Christmas Eve is that in Japan oh, which is know. interesting I'm yeah, thinking right. you're getting bamboozled by your wife yeah, <laughs> yeah, you had to take me out somewhere nice on Christmas that's, Eve that, that's, that's, the, that's the tradition in Japan that's right. <laughs> a, a, lot of, a lot of didn't just research it or anything I just got like mega bamboozled I, I, think, I think you're going to be able to like you know, usually you go down and you spend 1,500 yen on, on a meal, but on Christmas Eve, you may pay double that and get like a seven course meal that's th- right. two or three hours. Really? It's, wow. it's a special event, mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> uh, so I've been led to believe. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Wow. I guess the KFC thing is always like something, I guess internationally known now that Japanese folks have. KFC at Christmas time. Yeah. Which is kind of strange. It's kind of very strange yeah, to it is me, very strange. I guess. But I guess the, the the thing that surprised me the most, and it's fairly obvious, I guess, but the fact that Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and in the UK we have Boxing Day on the 26th of December, like everybody's at work. Like there's just no, like, everybody's, it's just normal day here. And it's, yeah. I know that's like, of course, because it's not a religious holiday here or whatever, but it's just weird to yeah. me. Like, everybody's at work. Like, <laughs> Same here. But we're not. Like, we don't work on those days. But. Yeah, that was actually my surprise, right? Yeah, there's, right. like, working on Christmas Day. It's, like... It just feels what? weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> to us, it feels weird, right? Oh, yeah, it feels yeah. very weird. Um, you know, my... <clears throat> the first day I was in Japan was, like, November 7th, so... By the time I got moved into my new apartment, I hadn't been here long enough to have a bunch of friends. Or um, so I thought working on Christmas Day would be horrible, but you know I didn't go to work until 11 a.m. anyway. So actually, it was nice having something to do and be with other people mm-hmm. and have a little camaraderie that I wouldn't have had being a, a new resident <clears throat> alone my first year here. Mm-hmm. Do you ever go back home? I I do. Um, you know, I used to go back more regularly than I do now. Um, but I was in the States for Christmas two years ago and had a great time. But I, I don't go as much as I would like. Mm-hmm. What about you? Uh, yeah, I go probably 
uh, with my family once every two years for Christmas. Um, so one Christmas here, one Christmas in Japan. Um, sorry, one Christmas in the UK. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I really enjoy going back home for Christmas. It's great. Uh, nice to see my family. And as I said earlier, um, it's a great time to see friends and, and stuff like that because everybody's off work. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. So yeah, by yearly, right? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah I don't have finances to go ahead <laughs> to be honest <laughs> yeah it's like historically <laughs> Christmas gifts or go back I think Christmas gifts are yeah mm. what if the trip is a Christmas gift ah. it's a miracle <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it's still gonna be a lot more than what I paid for Christmas <laughs> gifts to be honest that's true yeah, yeah. alright so alright so do you have time for just one more quick question Nate? sure sure okay um so, for the people who don't know, we're actually parents ourselves. Mm. So, having kids here, and how do you, how do you spend the holidays here? Do you spend it like as if it were a Japanese? They're they're like your fa- whole family's Japanese, or mm. whole family's Western. Or how would you spend Christmas? Um, while you, while you're here. <laughs> well, my my wife's parents uh, both sort of semi-retired so they don't actually work so much um so we kind of have a christmas day at their house so i cook christmas dinner and we do presents and stuff like that so it kind of feels like christmas in a way uh-huh. it's not the same uh-huh. but it's uh, it's good enough uh-huh. right uh, except i have to cook <laughs> not my mum. <laughs> so, yeah. it's pretty good I, I do like christmas here and my daughter has a nice time and she gets to open presents and have fun yeah it's good uh-huh. Yeah. Um, you know, as I mentioned, presents is a, a morning thing, wake up and open presents. So uh, having work or no work doesn't really affect early morning presents. Yeah. Um, you know, if, if the in-laws are going to come, maybe they would show up for a second Christmas around lunchtime. Um, and then, you know, depending on the day of the week, I, I might have something in the afternoon, evening as far as work goes, but can't really be helped. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a decent compromise. Mm-hmm. It works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would have to agree with both of you. It's the same for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So, um, so do you think your kids will like Christmas more here or back home? Back home. Yeah, I mean, here, <laughs> you know, you can get a roll cake or you can get some KFC. KFC. And there's, there's, <laughs> some shops will have a little tree. Yeah. But. You know, driving around the U.S. and every house yeah. has lots of lights and yeah. malls have huge trees. I mean, it's it's a big deal over there. It's kind of a blip on the radar here. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's very commercial here, right? It's very it's Christmas, so you know, buy some stuff and give it to your your family or whatever. I mean, that's not to say it's not commercial back home or anything. It's very very commercial, right? But uh, it's it's a bigger deal. And I often, if I'm shopping for toys at Toys R Us, I'll see a kid grab a toy, walk up with his parents, buy it, and have it wrapped in front of him. <laughs> the kids know exactly the one thing they wanted to get, and they get it. Yeah. There's no surprise or mystery. Or... Santa mystique. Like, you've got to be, like, good all year to get your gift from Santa. Like, mm. um, like <laughs> I think maybe that's one of the, I don't know, your kids are older than mine, but... You know, my daughter, uh, like she uh, believes that if she's not good, Santa won't bring her anything. But I'm worried that at school, they clearly know that that (laughs) Santa is not real because it's not a thing right here, I guess. So she's going to have it ruined earlier than perhaps I did or you did. did, One time I was... I went into a junior high school, and I guess most Japanese parents will give presents to their kids until they finish elementary school. So this Japanese junior high school English teacher was asking me, can you, parents asked me to help write a letter from Santa to their children saying, sorry, but I'm moving on and won't be bringing presents anymore. (laughs) So, that just had me scratching my head. That's pretty brutal. It is, but like, hey, you know, we're not doing Christmas anymore, so 
help Sorry. Santa tell him it's done. <laughs> You're cut off. <laughs> Oh, Christmas is cancelled. Like, mm. yeah. wow. That was like a threat from my parents. Like, Christmas <laughs> is going to be cancelled. It like, actually it was cancelled at this junior high school. Like, it's cancelled. Yeah, Christmas it's done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Christmas is over. You've aged out. That's it. Yeah, no more. Sorry, kids. No more fun. Okay. All right. So, any last thoughts? Or? No. Happy Christmas, I yeah, guess. Happy Christmas. Um, yeah, just if you do come to Japan to teach, you should know you may not have your Christmas f- Christmas time free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. and it's just different. <clears throat> it's different. Less Christmas lights. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but some nice know. trees and stuff, and like Tokyo, they always have like nice Christmas display or whatever. But you yeah, know, if you like KFC, it's good. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you very much. Um, where can everybody find you on social media if you want to be? Do you want to be followed by anybody, or? Well, I don't know what my Twitter handle is. But I'm on Twitter. You can find me somewhere. Okay. Well, Something like Woods. Okay. If <laughs> we find Woods. it, we'll just put it in the description. Yeah. Okay, Derek. Um, I've got Inside Japan underscore org on Instagram. We've got Inside Japan on YouTube, as well as Bite Size English and uh, Bite Size Beats. Okay. So go ahead and check those out. Um, you could just reach me on Twitter at Marco A. Calero. And so, yeah, that's pretty much where you can find me. So, thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye.